is good guys we are back inside of another abandoned hoarder house this one is packed but unlike the other ones there's still a lot to see here a lot to go through and not a lot has been turned over obviously it's been rummaged through like most of them that we've been inside of but this one is like i said it's a little bit more intact we could see a lot more of the pieces that were in place here and it's got a lot more property to it there's a barn behind here there's a car outside of there and there's actually an animal living inside of one of the walls so We'll see if we encounter that. I'm here with Jose California and Obsolete Arbex. You can find their links down below. They're the ones that took me here today. Thank them guys. We're gonna go explore this place. Let's go see what it's got. This guy had a pretty good radio collection here. This one's actually my favorite one. Kind of like this one. I remember these from back in the day, so everybody had one of these. So one of these and one of the last houses we explored. This one's in a lot better condition. And it's upright. This is a really cool painting. I didn't notice this when I walked in. What's that say? Through cold, dark, Walls and melted wax of long extinguished candles be held as you tried to approach. Oh wow, there's a lady in there. Creepy. This is my favorite thing in this entire house. I love this. This is great. All the old Mary Blair artwork on there too. Look at this room guys, it's been completely flipped over. It's one of the only ones, look at that. Cool old car. It's one of the only ones that's really jam-packed and completely turned out. Like, 
I mean, I guess it's just really packed. It has been rummaged through, definitely. But it's a mess. So what we're standing in right now is an artist studio. The person that lived here must have been an artist. They have a lot of artwork around. They have a bunch of paint brushes, a lot of finished paintings, a lot of unfinished paintings. So this is like a art hoarder house. There's a ton of stuff around here from this artist. Really nice work too. Qu cool kind of creepy stuff. Just th that's the kind of artwork I like that's right up my alley. So that's an interesting find right there. We found a little something to the history behind the person that lived here and what they might have done for a living or and or a hobby, you know. You always always do what you love for work, right? So hopefully that's what happened. Hopefully that's a good thing that came out of their life. You know, and then and then the unfortunate stuff might have happened later on. So let's dig deeper. You can see a bunch more paintings over there. I think it's just the canvas for the paintings. I don't think that they got to use these because they're they're blank. I'm not gonna flip over any of them. Whatever's not unturned. Whoever lived here loved National Geographic magazine. There's a lot of them here. And a lot of other magazines and paperwork and everything else that they had. So in this room right here, we find a ton of National Geographic magazines. More art, more provocative art, and a ton of papers all over the place. But there is also that cool desk over there. I really like that, really old school. I like the light that's on it also. Very cool, creepy looking. Thank you. 
All right, guys, this is the last room in the upstairs, and it is completely packed with books, old papers, and just little trinkets and things like that. Like, they just kind of just threw everything in here. Or somebody just threw everything in here around, one of the two, because this place is an absolute wreck. They loved reading. It seems that the two people, from what I can tell, it's two people that lived here, a man and a woman. There might have been a, another couple of people living here, maybe one or two. But from what it seems, the man and the woman that lived here, they loved to read. They loved art and they loved reading. A lot. They read a lot. They have a lot of books, a lot of papers, a lot of magazines. So the owners of this house left their Chevy Cavalier here. Looks like it's in pretty good condition. I wonder why nobody beat that up. Alright guys, this was a pretty dope explore. All things being, this place was a wreck, but there was a lot left behind. We got an idea of who actually left here. Readers and artists. One of the two people, or both of them, liked to read, and one of the two of them, or both of them, liked art. We saw a lot of their artwork, we saw a lot of their books, we saw a lot of their personal belongings, albeit it was wrecked. This house was ransacked. I mean, it was completely ransacked. It wasn't as bad as the last two that we had been in, but it was still really, really bad. But at least we got to find out about who left this place the way it was, or... Well, yeah, well, at, at this point, it's the way it was, because right now is the way it is, and it's shit. I want you guys to go check everybody out, like I said. Jose, Obsolete Urbex, and Max, who was around here doing his kind of exploring. Wow. Yeah, he's over there somewhere. He, was, he, he, he gets lost all the time, so that's his thing. So anyhow, guys, I hope you enjoyed this explore, and we're going to see you at the next spot. Peace.